I'm afraid of something. Hello everyone! Welcome to this channel and my name is Bailey. Now, I'm sure you're a little curious about that introduction. I am afraid of something. And this something happened today, although it went well. And you're probably wondering what, it, what just happened today. I had a foot surgery. The reason I have a first surgery is that I have a plantar ward and it's painful. Like I've had it for two years and it's so painful. Well, not so painful. It's just annoying painful because it's, it feels like you're just walking and you have a small pebble in your shoe that you can't seem to get rid of. It's just there and you're just like, get out of my shoe, which is what we did today, we removed it, and finally it's feeling a lot better. Even though it's a little achy right now. Now, what I'm afraid of is that, well, since I'm deaf, I was so afraid of the fact that I had to go under for a surgery or I don't know what other situations you would have to go under besides a surgery. That, okay, let me tell you my backstory of why I was a little afraid. My brother, he had to go under surgery for his heart for like a valve replacement. When he came out and he started to become aware, you know, still groggy and stuff like that, his eyes, he, he could barely keep his eyes open. So the nurse that asked him cognition, awareness, questions, meaning like, do you know where you are? Do you know what today is? Do you, do you know the people around you? Blah, blah, blah. That kind of stuff. He was mostly hearing these questions not, while his eyes were completely closed. Like he was like, I'm not opening them up. Like, too much effort and I was thinking oh my gosh if that's me in there in that here situation how can I possibly answer these questions like I'm deaf <laughs> like I'm gonna have to wait they're gonna have to wait until I'm fully awake and or able to open my eyes which is bad because sometimes around this situation something can go wrong and they can't detect it until too late when you're able to like open up I don't know what things could go wrong but it could go wrong okay I have a this fear anything could go wrong will go wrong and like today I went to my apartment I got myself situated like undressed in her cute hospital gown which is not very flattering at times you know what I mean it's just not flattering it just it's like hanging it and anyway I'm getting off the topic and this doctor came in a little cute but he came in and he started talking about the procedure and everything and I immediately told him, like, look, my main concern is be able to answer your cognition awareness questions because I'm deaf and I have a cochlear implant and everything. Like, I t explained my situation to them and they were like, oh, okay, thank you for telling us. And I also told them that I brought my husband over with me. He's... He has to drive me home because there's no way I can drive home under influence. Like, I'll get D I D I. Is it D I? No, D U I. Drive under influence. I would get that ticket in a heartbeat. Yeah, no, no, thank you. Anyway, I told him about my husband. I said he knows sign language. If I can't read your sentences or anything, and they were like, oh, okay. Thank you. We'll take care of that. Though they were a little concerned because when they heard cochlear implant, they were like, uh, is there metal in your head? And we're like, 
Uh, I was like, uh, I think it's all plastic and coils, like some sort of wire material, but I didn't know if it was like full on metal or not. So I had to ask my husband to do a little research for me. There's metal in my head, but I told him like no MRI, no anything that uses magnetic uh, screening because it will definitely rip it out of my head. And they were like, oh, okay, fair enough. Went there, put me under, which by the way, I fell asleep like that because it was in the morning and I got up my midnight shift. Like, I got up at 5.30 in the morning, got home at 6 a.m., then woke up at 8 to be the, at the apartment at 9.30. <sighs> Running on two hours of sleep, which we didn't go under operation until 11. So this woman here was lacking sleep here. And when they put me under, like, giving me, like, making me drowsy, they said they... They didn't know if I would like, but I did. I like, like, I was asleep. I'm tired. Two hours of sleep is not enough. Anyway, after all this situation, apparently my operation only took 11 minutes. Just 11 minutes. I took an 11 minute nap and I felt really refreshed. But the surprising thing is, I woke up with clear headed. Yes, I was a little bit tired. I'm still a little, what do you call it? Content. Because they put me, they cocooned me in all this warm blanket. Like I have warm blanket wrapped around my head and a bunch of layers of warm blanket over my body. I'm like, nah, I'm not leaving. Nah, I'm not leaving. But I understood. All of them, they're like, hey, are you doing any pain, anything, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, no, I'm good. I'm thirsty, though. Which, you're not supposed to eat or drink anything after midnight. And that was hard because I was working, I was wide awake, and I'm a vegan. And I saw my coworkers eating and drinking water. I'm like, I'm jealous. I'm very jealous of you. Yeah, I'm, je I'm talking to you if you're watching this. I'm jealous. I was jealous. So, I asked for a cup of water and I think I was really overly polite. But I think it's because I was super content. I was like, thank you. Oh, would you please? Thank you. Would you please? Thank you. <laughs> Even my husband thought I was really polite. Even when we got home, which wasn't but that big of an issue. It kind of hurts to walk a little bit. It doesn't hurt. It's like when you experience a cut underneath your foot and you just feel that weird stinging, not stinging, but like ache. And it just, every time you move it, you can feel it like pull and just, yeah, I have to have stitches on that cat. They literally like cut out around my wart and take it out and yeah. But other than that, it wasn't that bad. I'm I'm even I'm not supposed to be pretty full weight on my foot. So how I'm doing this, as you can see my arm kind of like what am I grabbing on? It's a chair. I'm sitting on the chair. I'll show you. Like there's a chair. Uh Okay, hold on. Here's a chair. Yeah. Okay. Let's try not to break any camera or anything. But yeah, as long as I stay on my foot, let it heal. Like, it's no big deal. All right, guys, this is all I have for you today. If you find this video informative, please press like. And if you have any questions, doesn't matter if it's about deaf culture, my car, video games, or whatever, please drop them in the comment below. And I will see you next Saturday. Bye!